Guys, we're back with the Jetta again. Uh, if you remember from the last video, we had this here pulled out. If you're gonna if you're gonna change a generator, work on a compressor down here for the air conditioner, you can pretty much get a buy with what we have right now. And it's still manageable somewhat far as in getting to the air pump, but this thing is it's it's really in here. I'm, I'm starting to hate this engine already. And uh, by the way, there's two kinds of people out there that I feel sorry for. And that's the ones that actually have to work on this thing. And that will be me also. I'm feeling sorry for myself. And also, I also feel sorry for the other type of people that can't do this kind of work. And they're going to have to let somebody else do it. And you're, already, you're going to be looking at hundreds of dollars. You know, just, just probably just moving this stuff out. But anyway, here's what I got in mind. If I could get in here, and it would be a bear, the problem is you guys won't be able to see anything. This here intake, as wide as it is, this engine is coming back up under here. So all of the components is mounted way back up underneath here, so it's hard to see even anything. So here's what I'm thinking about right now. We got this thing this far. Let's see how far we can get this here, this here uh, flock carrier out. I'm looking it over. We got a couple of radiator hoses. We got the top radiator hose. I'm thinking about breaking it loose right here. So that will take care of there, that point. Breaking it loose down here on the bottom uh, radiator hose. We'll break this here clamp loose. Of course, we have to drain the coolant out. I'll show you where that's at. And uh, also, these two connectors right here that I pulled out of the bracket assembly here. I think what we're going to do, we're going to have to separate them if we're going to do what we're talking about. <clears throat> so we're going to put these things back in into their locations and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to separate these two connectors here. That'll free that up. Now over here on this side, we've got this here, got this here receiver for the air conditioner. So, so this thing, what I'm looking at is that we're going to use this as a pivot point over here on the passenger side. We're going to take this whole assembly. I'm hoping that we can get this thing out far enough. And then maybe I can get down in here between the lock carrier and the, this side of the engine. And maybe I can just sit down there and just look straight in on this thing and, and uh, just work on it. And you guys can get a better shot. Now, probably some of you out there right now is thinking, uh, you know, that I'm just dreaming and probably out there living in the twilight zone. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe we can get in there and get this thing out further. I'd like to know now. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to see if we can get this thing out even further. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drain this coolant. Guys, I'm right over here on the driver's side. I'm on the lower left side of the radiator. Hey, it's the first thing I've seen I liked about Volkswagen. They actually put a little spout out here. See the spout right there? They got a little valve up here. So we can turn this counterclockwise. And start draining some of this coolant out. All right, let's go over there to the reservoir. Hey, this is elementary stuff right here, but here's your coolant bottle here for the engine uh, coolant. So just loosen it up and that'll make it drain. Let some air come in there. Okay, now these here two connectors right here, these are going for the two cooling fans. Let's take this one right here. Alright, if you turn it, you'll see a little, little notch right in there. Take this part right here. Should be able to push it down. And while you're holding it down, grab this part, pull it apart. Let's take the connector. Let's go ahead and slide him back in this bracket. Let me get my, let's see if I can see, put them in a little track there, okay, all right now let's take this connector and let's do the same thing, put the catch in the back, I'm going to pull them apart, and let's take him and slide him down in a little bracket. Okay, now, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take this cable back loose up here. Okay. Now it's a rubber grommet. You can see it right here. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'm just going to put a pair of pliers on it and just kind of wiggle it on out of there. Now you can see what it looks like. Little grooves, just slid on. That's all it is. So let's get him tucked out of the way there. Okay. All right, looks like the uh, coolant's drained now, so let's work on this top radiator hose. I'm going to take this here clamp, squeeze on, see if we can get this jogger back. No, we're right. He's already stuck on there good. Yeah, I guess we'll put him about right there. Looks like he wants to come loose. All right, hands starting to free her up. Okay. Now keep in mind that I'm going to have to put some jack stands on here once we get this thing back so we can slide this thing on back here. And the other one, let's see, we was going to get... We was going to work on that one right there, so I'm going to have to go underneath the car to break it loose. Alright, let's see if we can't get this here. Come in, break it, broke it loose. Yes. Clamp is stuck on there. It doesn't look like they ever came loose before. Looks like the uh, coolant's original too. Okay, that one's done. All right, I'm gonna loosen this strap up to allow this here assembly to swing around. So to make sure I get this in the same spot, I'm just gonna put a little mark right over top of this here. Line it up on there. And then I'm gonna put a, where the two clamps come together, I'm just gonna put a little up and down mark. Okay, now let's go ahead and loosen this strap up. It's a 10 millimeter. Just want to make sure this thing is going to be able to swing. Yeah, that definitely has got to be enough. Okay guys, at this point, it's the moment of truth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start taking this guide rod out over here on the driver's side and sweeten this thing out. I'm going to have to get this on a jack stand. Let me see where we're at. careful with these lines here for these uh, condenser lines. This one over here we got some slack. But this one over here we have very little. All right, guys, we got a lot of room in here. We can get in here now pretty good. But what I'm looking at, I'm looking at these here cooling fans. 
while I had them open, I was here, sitting here just kind of looking and inspecting the fans, checking the bearings. Look at this one right here. This one is pretty tight. Okay, but now look at this one over here. That's enough right there for me to do a little more inspection on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole assembly out. There's four bolts. They're T27. There's one right up here, down here. There's two more over here. So let's go ahead and uh, take this out. Also, one thing too, you see, this is projecting out a little bit. That's going to free us up even more. So let's go ahead and take care of getting this thing out of here. Two more over on this side. One is up here. Get this one down here on the bottom. Now this here lock carrier is on two jack stands and what, I, what, what you're going to find out is that this thing here is top heavy so it may want to try to slip out on you so what I did is I just took a string here and tied it just to keep it in place and I'll just give you a shot of the jack stands just so you can see what I've done. I got one jack stand over here you can see the other one is over there and that's pretty much it. Two jack stands and a string and I think we'll be in good shape. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Hey okay, guys, we're going to close this video out now. And in the next video, we're going to go over the system, this uh, secondary air pump uh, system, how it works, what it's supposed to do. We're going to go over the uh, mechanical issues, checking it first as far as vacuum leaks and that kind of stuff. And then in the next video, we'll go over the electrical system. Then we'll check it electrically. And also while we're here, uh, we got this thing opened up, and as you just saw, uh, I pulled the coolant fans out. One good thing about it is it does open it up a little bit, but however, it looks like it's a little issue maybe with a bearing, so I'm going to do some checking on that. While we got this thing open up, we're going to check as much stuff as we can, you know, not even related to the secondary air pump, but uh, we're going to look for the coolant lines, uh, you know, anything else that we may see obvious that we need to uh, correct. So, um... Uh, We'll catch you guys in the next video, and I appreciate you guys watching.